Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. Today is Friday. Woohoo! It is Friday, you guys. I hope you're having a good morning. I am getting ready to go to work here in about an hour. I just poured me a cup of coffee. I found a Snickers pod. I was so excited. That was one of my favorite ones. I'd never tried it before. So I'm drinking Snickers, no cream today. And I've got my mother's and daughter's mug with my girls on there and our favorite drinks. This was a Christmas present that they got me, which I love. You guys know how I am with my mugs. I love them. Today is April 5th, 2024. So if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. If it's your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your day. It's pretty early here, about eight, a little after 8 o'clock. So I wanted to get on here. I do have a few items to show you. But, well, one item's new. It's a whip. I do have a whip, and it's going to be a whip, and it's going to definitely be a finish. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got, like, I've got several things. I wanted to show you what I was making, the scrunchies that I made with the yarn that I ordered from Sheen. Yes. And... That's pretty much it. I'm trying to get this room picked up. Look at how much I've done already. You know, Gary and Rose really did help. <laughs> I still can't believe they did that. That was so great, though. Yet, I, I think it's wonderful when you just meet someone and they feel comfortable enough to come in your craft room and help you put up yarn that you ordered. It's still sitting in the box. Ugh, Rose, she's such a nerd. Gary was wonderful. Anyway, I'll tell you guys more about that in a minute, more about that trip. So, or that trip, the visit. I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, anyway, yes, have, I'm, I'm hoping you're having a good day. I have really been wanting some cheesecake. I might have to make a cheesecake. I mean, I will give it away, but just so I can have one slice of cheesecake. I've just been wanting that. I don't know. It's been crazy. So, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you had... Um, are are having a great week we are on friday i hope you got good plans for the weekend and it's still really overcast outside so i've got both of the lights on jack is going to see about getting me some lighting over here just i just feel like it's it's not bright enough i would love it if i had natural lighting but this bedroom there's a bedroom next to me that's abby's room her room was ideal when i had my yarn when i had my craft room in there because there's two windows and it was natural lighting and it, I, so I had it on both ends and it was a lot better. This is, this one, this room has one window and even though it comes in and I can take really good pictures on this side of the table, the lighting is just not great for filming. So we'll figure it out. <laughs> but anyway, so if the, if the lighting's a little weird, that's why. So Snickers coffee, no cream today. All right, so uh, let me see. You guys know my admin. Um, you can find me not only on YouTube, but also on Instagram. I'm on Pinterest and TikTok and Facebook. Now, Facebook, I have two pages. One is attached to my Etsy shop. So uh, a lot of times when I post things like that go up for sale, that'll be on that one. I do not post my, um, you know, my, like my listings. I don't put that on my private group. That's separate. So you will see two of them. You'll know you got the right group if you want the private one, because there is a question that you need to answer. And that is where everyone shares their patterns, you know, any yarn sales that you might find, what you're working on, any cows. I've got a greeting card cow going on right now. Um, I do believe I need to put a picture up. I haven't done that yet, but I did get my video out. So if you haven't seen that and you want to participate in the greeting card cow or just want to see what it what it's about, just check out my previous videos for those. Let's see. And everything will be linked in the description box below. I even have some of my favorite yarny peeps that I like to watch. I, I have so many. I, I really need to change them out and I always forget, but there's some great ones out there. Um, I might even just ask you guys to, to, like in the next video, put your favorite ones down there if it's not listed. But yeah, but anyway. I do have some, I have four 
orders that I get that I need to get out that I received. I had two yesterday and two the day before. I sold the bucket hat. The first one that I made for Abby, I listed that, you know, just to kind of get some feelers out. And it sold yesterday, the yellow and charcoal gray one. So I need to get one made because that one is Abby's. <laughs> she's she's like, you're not taking my hat, are you? I'm, no, I'll make one. Silly girl. So um, I don't know. I think it's going, oh yes, it's going to California. That's right. It is going to California. So anyway, thank you guys so much for supporting my business because, you know, that really does help with my retirement. And I did have someone ask me <laughs> about my retirement. I am not old enough to retire because she's like, there's no way you're going to retire. You're not, you're not old enough. I'm not. But when my husband got sick, which will be five years, it'll be five years in September, actually. We sat down and we made a plan. We, you know, we didn't go see a professional or anything. We just said, okay, this is what we're going to do. And yeah, so we are still on, uh, um, I want to say on point. That's not the word that I'm looking for, but track. Yeah, we're still on. We're we are on track to retire. the The goal was to retire one year after Abby graduates from high school, and she graduates next year in May, May of 2025. So uh, that'll give us a year to get things in order and decide where we want to go first and what we want. You know, things like that. So I'm super excited. It's you know yet another chapter in our lives. I feel extremely blessed that the Lord has provided for us and continues to do so because, you know, it, it took a lot of prayer. It took a lot of, and I, I'm, I don't want to use the word sacrifice, but it was very, um, it's very disciplined. You have to be extremely disciplined when you want to save money. I, it, it's horrible because things come up and you're like, oh, I really want to get that. Oh, I want to do and it's, you know, sometimes you're, you can do great and, you know, I can buy all the yarn I want. And then other times it's like, oh, I can't really buy any yarn right now because I want to put this much away for, you know, when we retire. So because, because we're going, we're doing early retirement, we will not be collecting any retirement because we're not going to be old enough. We're only 57. I'm like 15 days older than him. Believe me, he doesn't let me forget it. So, <laughs> so that's the, there's the answer to your question. No, I'm not, but we're still going to do it anyway. That's right. We, the game, we're, we're right there. And I, I can't tell you what a blessing it is to be able to do that. Um, if you would have told me 10 years ago that I'd be retiring early, I'd be like, nope, going to work till I'm 70 or 67. I, I just want to do it. I want to do it. And, but you know, when your husband gets sick and it really makes you think about stuff. So, um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. That's the game plan. If anything happens and changes that, so be it. But right now, at this very second and at this very point in our lives, that's the plan. So, okay, guys. So do you remember the yarn that I got from Sheen? This yarn right here, this luscious, yeah, I, I got to take a sip of this. It's so good. This really soft, oh my gosh, it's so soft, you guys. So, okay, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know where this, you know, or well, I know where it came from, but I didn't think it was going to be that much of a difference when it came to crocheting with this. So it doesn't shed as much as other yarns. I'm going to be honest with you. One of the ones that sheds a lot and breaks a lot is... Um, Hobie's, Hobie's Honey Bunny yarn. Now, I love that yarn. I've made blankets with it. I love it. But I noticed that you can't pull too tight with, with most of the yarn like this anyway because of how it's made. But you got to be really careful. But this one, it takes, it takes a little bit to break it. And it doesn't really shed very bad. Uh, so I do like it. Um, I have yet to make anything with this particular color. It's just been, it just came kind of weird. I, I was going to make a hat with it and I thought, this is not, I don't know, maybe for a kid, right? It's, it's such a nice bright color. But what I did with the other colors was make some scrunchies. And they are just so squishy. 
So all I'm doing is half double crochet around till I can't make another one nice and just nice and tight. I don't count them. Whoops. It just doesn't want to stay in my hands. I don't count how many I do. I just keep going until it's, it's really tight. And then in each one of those, I put three trebles. And this was the brown. Oh my gosh, you guys could feel it, I'm telling you. And then the green, which I really love. I love that green. Isn't that pretty? And oh, this blue one. Look at the blue one. Isn't that nice? They just feel really great. This one is my all-time favorite. You ready? Look at this purple. You remember that purple one? Everybody's like, ooh, that purple. Yeah, that purple. So out of this skein right here, I was able to get four. And um, almost five, it was like, I think I had 10. I gave it to Abby because I was, I was working on the green one. The green one was the first one I finished. I believe I had like 10 stitches left. So it got me four complete scrunchies and then most of a fifth one. Um, in each of these. And these things, I got them three in a pack and they were, they averaged $2.18 each. So it was not a bad deal at all. And I got this, I, and I was like, why did I get this color? Because it's awesome. Someone's going to like that. It's nice and orange. I don't know what to make with it, but if it was a little bit darker, it would be a great beak for chicken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep. So yeah. Um, so I'm just making, you know, I'm just using them all up and that's what I'll be making with them, our scrunchies. And I counted them last night and guess what? I counted, I counted my scrunchies last night in that bin, totally forgot about these. So without counting these, I've made 65 <laughs> and I've sold eight already. So I physically have 65 in the bin in the, in the living room, plus those. So yeah, I've been making the heck out of some scrunchies. Um, I needed to make a yellow stingray. This, these are gonna be the mini stingrays because I also have some that are like medium size and then a larger one, which sold really well at the last market. I don't know if they will at the next one, but I wanted to make sure I had a few on hand. So I have nine of these made up and a few of the larger ones. I think one one extra large one and then like two medium or larger ones or whatever. So I got that taken care of. Um, these are gonna be, this is definitely gonna be some scrunchies. And then my finished product or project, I guess, is a hat. I was making a black and white hat with the chenille yarn. Or actually it's the, the parfait yarn that I received from Terry of the Yarn Joy podcast. Hi, Terry. <laughs> and I'm just making a um, striped hat with it. it. It'll be a bucket hat because I like the wide brim at the bottom. And it might just be mine. I don't know. I like changing up hats when I'm outside, sitting on my deck. If um, part of it is covered, but then when the sun comes up or when it hits it, some there are parts where you have to, I have to put my um, my umbrella up. And sometimes I just want to sit there and just wear my hat. So I might just keep this to myself. <laughs> That's usually how that works, right? <clears throat> so if you notice, just real quick, since we're on the subject. Oh, this was, oh yeah, this was my, that's, that's Abby's actually. I told her she could have it. So these are a little bit smaller, obviously. I, I was like, okay. And I thought maybe these could be for the little kids. I don't know. I just didn't make them. And I didn't, if you also notice, I didn't put anything around there. This is just triple crochet till it got a little um, ruffled. Sorry, it was a little, it catches everything I feel. So these are the smaller ones that I made that I showed you guys. And I'm still gonna make some this size because not everyone, I don't know not everyone, but I just thought I'd give them a choice between a really roughly one and then one that's just not so much. Because like I said, it could be like a little a little girl that doesn't have really thick hair. And this might not be the best thing for her, but she might like it. So, so I'm going to put these on here. I'm so glad I got a second one. I figured I'd put one on either end of the, of the table. And yeah, there's definitely a difference. Look at how small. So that's why I figured I'd have one with the smaller ones on it. And then the larger one will be on the other end. Okay, so there's that. 
Ooh. Did I show you my crochet hook I got? Woo-key. I was initially wanting to use this with the seven, the number seven jumbo yarn. I don't like it. I just like doing the hand knit. It doesn't, yeah, it drives me crazy. <laughs> but I'll keep it. I mean, I'll figure, I'll figure something out with it. So anyway, I've got the hat. I made the stingray. I made some scrunchies. I can't believe I have that many made up. So in the next video or two, I will tell you what I've got done so far. I probably won't show you because it's a lot. I have, where's the hat? So this bin right here that I've got my, um, this bin that I have my yarn in, you remember I was trying to figure it out? It is a 72 quart bin, which equals like 18 gallons. So that thing is overflowing with plushies right now. It's not near enough, but that's what I've had done since um, March. <sighs> was that just last month when I knew for sure that I was going to do this and they, they sent me the acceptance letter? Maybe it's been, yeah, it's probably been about a month. So I'm just going to keep, I, I'll just get another bin. I, that one's got yarn in it. So that's what I did. I took the bin. It was full of yarn. Took it in the living room or wherever I happen to be for that day. <laughs> and take the yarn out, make some items with it, and throw it in the bin. <sighs> I just feel like it's already April, and i got two months, so I'm just going to keep making stuff. I am going to be making mug cup cozies. So there's a pattern out there. I don't know who it's from. Someone sent it to me. So one of you, one of you subscribers sent it to me, and it's, so instead of putting a button, you know, you get the cup cozy that covers your cup. So instead of putting a button there to clasp it around the handle, it just has two, um, two chains that are attached to either end. One goes on this side, and then when you pull it around this side, it goes on the other, just like that. So there are no buttons involved, and I, I thought that would be good and quick. So let me see if I can make one. So I got to find it because I don't know where it, I, I didn't save it, obviously. But I know it, I'll know it when I see it. Because like I said, it doesn't have a button. So I plan on doing those. I'm also going to make more coasters. Um, there was something else that I wanted to add to that. So the bucket hats, I got to make more of those coasters. Oh yeah, I still have to make the Japanese knot bags as well. If I could just focus. <laughs> I could just focus. I just, I don't like doing more than one. So I did a bunch of scrunchies last night, but then I had to start a hat. I had to do something different. I'm like, ugh, I'm done with scrunchies for a minute. And then I see this color, and so I'll probably make scrunchies. And I can get four, so that's not bad at all. When when you figure the average price of the three was $2.18 each, that was great. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't know if I'll order any more yarn from Sheen. I, I got to run out of yarn first, but we'll see what happens. For the price, though, and for how the... The scrunchies looked. I'm I'm definitely happy with it. And the like I said, the yarn wasn't really flimsy or anything. So if you guys have ordered any sheen yarn and have used it, let me know what you think about yours as well. Because sometimes you just get a good batch of yarn and then sometimes it's like, wait, I ordered this from the same place. Why is it so yucky? Because that happens. It happens. Um, I'm looking around just to make sure. Yep, that's it. I got a box of yarn coming from Hershner's, and I got a box of yarn coming from Joann's. I have to use up my coupons, my free shipping coup uh, codes. I I did all that. I didn't go hog wild, though. I just got like a few things that I know for sure that I was needing. I've made a couple of axolotls, but they're in the other room. I didn't bring one in here. You've seen them. But some of the, some of the yarn, what I've been doing, I made like a yellow and white one, and then a dark purple and a light purple for the fins. So I'm just kind of alternating the colors. I'm kind of going a little weird with them because their ki kids are going to love, they're going to love it. I ordered a lime green and a uh, safety yellow. Oh, I can't wait to make something out of that one. So yeah, I think that's it for now, guys. Someone is sending me messages and I don't know who that is. Hmm. It says potential spam. I love when that pops up because then I definitely won't answer. I don't ever answer the phone if it's a number I don't recognize. So they can leave me a message if it's important. Anyway, I hope you guys have uh, a wonderful rest of your day. 
and a great weekend. I'm sure if I have time, I'll see you <laughs> sooner rather than later. So have a good day. Um, have a great birthday. Have a great anniversary. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Happy hooking, everyone. Bye for now.